I am super excited to teach you how to knit the little arrowhead lace stitch which is really pretty it is not reversible but I'd say it looks pretty good and it makes an amazing shawl this pattern will be coming soon now keep in mind that this is only a stitch pattern and not a project so there's no cast on or cast off for that visit the website or follow your project pattern all right you ready let's begin so I marked my loom for my edges at the beginning and at the end as well as the one, two, three repeats of the six stitch pattern. You can repeat it as many times as is necessary for the width of your project. Then we're ready for the setup row, which is an E-wrap one, knit one, E-wrap one, knit three. Once you finish knitting your edge, in my case, it's these four uh, stitches here. Then I'm ready for the six stitch pattern, starting with this peg right here. And then I'm going to end here. So get your working yarn. You're going to wrap the peg completely and then knit off. That's your E-wrap one. Place the yarn loosely over the next one, knit off, that's your knit one, and now wrap the peg completely again for another E-wrap and knit off. And then we're going to do three knit stitches that are flat. You can use the U-wrap version of the knit stitch if that's easier for you. In my case, I'm using the flat stitch. So I knit off those three, and my three stitch pattern is done, right? E-wrap, knit, E-wrap and then the three knits and now I'm ready to repeat my stitch pattern again because remember I'm going to repeat it three times right so e-wrap knit e-wrap and then three consecutive knit stitches using the flat version of the knit stitch and then I'm gonna repeat it one more time and remember you will repeat yours as many times as is necessary for the width of your project and then once I'm done with those three knit stitches I have an edge stitch at the end and now I'm ready for row one which is a purl one knit one purl one yarn over knit three together yarn over so get your yarn under the existing loop scoop it up create a new loop take the old one off put the new one on and pull this is going to be a lot easier than it sounds okay just stick with me so then a knit stitch, again the flat version of the knit stitch, and another purl stitch. That's my third one in my six stitch pattern. And now we're going to do that yarn over, knit three together, yarn over. All right. So for my yarn over, I'm going to remove the loop from the peg, unravel it, and place it on the next stitch. Then I'm going to go to the six take the stitch off unravel it and bring it back to that fifth peg and now when I do that I have three stitches on that peg I'm going to bring my yarn over over right and place it over those three stitches and I'm going to knit the three stitches together you can knit them one at a time you don't have to do all three at once but I did just to show you and now I need to yarn over this peg so I'm going to bring it over to my next one but these are my six stitches for that six stitch pattern I'm going to repeat the six stitch pattern again and so I take the yarn from the last peg and I'm going to anchor it to this first one by doing a purl stitch so that's my purl one on my next stitch repeat then I'm going to do a knit one and again another purl one and then I need the next one to be a yarn over so I'm going to take my hook and take the stitch off that peg unravel it and bring it to peg five of the six stitch and then the last one I'm going to take the the stitch off the peg unravel it and bring it back to the fifth peg and now again I have three stitches on that peg I'm going to take the yarn over to that um, peg and knit those three well knit off those three stitches and then the yarn over is the last stitch right 
right here. I'm going to bring it over to anchor it on my next one, which is my last of my three six stitch repeats. I'm hoping this makes sense, guys. If it doesn't, please put your questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer you. All right, so there are my three stitches, which I'm going to do my knit three together and I'm doing them separately. And then I'm going to anchor this one to my edge, which in many cases is why you need an edge, but it's not part of the six stitch pattern. All right, now row two is really simple, guys. All you have to do is knit the row. So remember that I'm using a flat version of the knit stitch, but you have the option to do a U-wrap or a true stitch, and I'll give you a video link that will explain those four versions of the knit stitch. And then you're ready for row number three, which is a purl one, knit one, purl one, knit three. This is an easy row, and I know you've got it, so you're gonna scoop up, create a new one, Take the old one off, put the new one on, pull, then a knit stitch, another purl stitch, and then three knit stitches. How easy is that? I know you got this. I know you got it. All right. So here's another repeat on my end just to show it to you again. The second time doing this th six stitch pattern right and one last time purl one knit one purl one knit three and then my edge row four looks familiar because it is e wrap one knit one e wrap knit three remember this that's your same setup right so after the edge you're gonna e wrap one and knit one e wrap one and then knit the next three right here and I'm using that flat version of the knit stitch and I'm knitting off and I'm ready to go to my uh, repeat again. I'm going to do that six stitch pattern. So E-wrap, knit, E-wrap, and then three knit stitches. So go to the website so you can see the size of the fabric. Um, and so you know how to customize your own pattern and the written pattern will include the round version of this stitch so check that out now for row five we're going to do a purl one knit one purl one yarn over knit three together yarn over so let's do that purl first and remember this sounds a whole lot more difficult than it is you do your knit stitch and then your purl one and now you're ready for your yarn over knit three together, yarn over, so take the loop off the peg, unravel it, bring it to the next peg, go to peg six, take the stitch off, unravel it, and bring it back to that fifth peg where you have three of them. Personally, I just continue to do that yarn over and, you know, taking the stitch off, putting it on the middle one, going to the last one, put it, I do that setup for all my repeats so that um, it's already done and it just helps me go faster now that's what it looks like when you don't have the unravel option right that lets you know you're on the wrong one here's your the correct stitch and now you're gonna take off on the last one and bring it over now watch how much quicker it goes when you could just bring your yarn over knit your three together and keep knitting see so I purl one knit one purl one and now I just do my yarn over I don't have to take the stitch over bring it to the middle go to the next one that's already been done for me and so I find that this is a much easier option it's like a quick setup and then you can run through that um, row without hesitation right then do your edge and after you've done that, you're ready for row six, which is a piece of cake. All you're going to do is knit the row. I'm not even going to get into any excessive explanation. You got this. You're knitting the row. Use your version of the knit stitch that you prefer. Anyone except the E-wrap. 
And once you've done that, you're ready for row seven, which is a purl one, knit one, purl one, knit three. Another row that is super, super, super easy, and you can handle this. So purl one, knit one, purl one, knit three. I'm not even gonna talk, you got this. Now row eight looks really familiar because, well, you've done it two other times. It's an E-Rep one, knit one, E-Rep one, knit three. And you're going to repeat this stitch pattern, right, for the number of times necessary for the width of your project. And then you're going to repeat rows one through eight as many times as necessary for the length of your project. I'm doing a skinny um, scarf and so I have a number of rows that I have to do and once I finish those number of rows then I'm going to do um, an edge or you know a border at the end. So here is my end of that row number eight and well you know what can I say bam I'm done. Now, for more information, visit the website. And guys, remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already done so, come on, duh, subscribe.